Super easy channel art you can design in just a few minutes that works every time. I'm Rob and I'm a YouTube product expert. All right, I'm using GIMP and you want your design to be 2560 by 1440, 2560 by 1440. You can use any editor that uses transparent backgrounds. So I have this transparent background image that shows the critical area in the middle, the small rectangle in the middle. That's the critical area that shows up every time and wider screens will show the sides a little bit. The only thing that sees the big screen is a television. So I'm copying this so we'll be able to paste it. So here's our, our screen, 2560 by 1440, and I pasted in the transparency so you can see the critical area. So we'll pop that out a second. And I'm just gonna use a lightly blue colored background just so it's easy for everybody to see, so you can see it. I could just do it on the white, I guess. But you can use whatever complicated background you want. I'm just gonna paint in here some blue. So we got a blue background. And there's our framework to show where we're going to put our image. So we'll start off, I'm just gonna grab a photo here. You can see the transparent background. I'll just copy this, paste it into our image. And I'm gonna put it over on the right side, so I'm just gonna flip it just so it looks a little better. And then the thing to do is, you know, I'm gonna drag it down and I'm guessing where that critical rectangle area is. I gotta copy it again, because I copied that photo. We'll paste it in. And you can see, here's the idea, you can just see I'm like from my nose to the top of my head. So now we'll unpaste it get it out of there and we just have to shrink this image down and again we just it's kind of trial and error just guesswork because you cannot leave the transparency on there you you can do it with layers if you're if you're fancy with your your video editor you can do multiple layers but i'm just doing it paste and check so we'll move it over a little bit this is just the simplest way to do it and see, we're getting pretty close there. And let's zoom in. So you can see, here's our critical rectangle going off the left. That's the area we have to work with that shows up on every device, no matter what. So we'll move it over a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it just a little bit more. And you can see, see it fits perfectly at the bottom. So I'm getting the most of the image in the screen. All right, get rid of the background and we'll move it over just a tad more, just a little hair. So it's right at the edge, the far right edge of our image. And there we go. So we're right at that side the right side of the always showing part of the channel art. So let's zoom out a little bit. And the next thing we're gonna do is add some text in there. So there you can see what it looks like. There's our critical area in the middle. And again, tablets and wider devices will show a little bit more, but every device always shows that that middle area. So I'm just going to pick a easy to read font, nothing too fancy. And we'll call hey, it's free range Rob living on the homestead. <laughs> you want to pick something that 
you know, of course, describes what your channel is about. And oopsie, I'm off to the left a little too far. So we got to drag that over to the right a bit. Check again. Oh, see, now we're inside our critical area. So that's good. And we'll pick a little bit different font. You know, italics or something is nice for your, your secondary line of text. And, oh, it switched to my first text. Let me get that back. Make a new window. Now switch to the italics. And we'll shrink it down a little bit and use a little bit smaller font. Again, the purpose of this video lesson is, why is it doing that? The joys of editors. There we go. The purpose of this video is the technique to create in a channel art, not the design aspect of it. Make it a little smaller so it doesn't compete with the main line of text. Just make sure everything lines up so you can see this, get the text so it looks good together bring it down and we can use our the bottom of my picture there kind of gives us an idea the vertical aspect and we'll check our and there we go we we're we've got free range rob living the dream and my picture in that critical area so we know that's good and we'll save it now you can, if you want, you can put a little image off to the left or the right so people on smartphones won't see it, but somebody on a, a bigger phone will see it. And then we're just going to go to our channel page. Laptop went to sleep. Here we go again. So here's the current channel art on this channel. Click Customize Channel. and it brings you into the customization page. Up on the right corner, it's just off the screen here, you can see Edit Channel Art. Click on that, and it brings up the load page. So this is where you can upload the art that we just made. And you click here to select your photo. Then we find the photo that we made. Now it's uploading our, our photo that we just made. And the maximum size is six megabytes, 2,560, 1,440, and six megabytes. And now you can see it. And we just select it. We, just, we don't have to crop anything, so we just save it. It shows you what it's going to look like on a small device, on a TV, and, and on desktop. And there it is. So this is what it's going to look like on desktop. And you do have the extra areas to the right and the left where you can stick something if you want. Because it, you know, just the center part shows up on smartphone devices. And that's it. There it goes. And then let's see what it looks like on an Android. You know, that's our photo there that we saved. Here it is on Android. On my smartphone, that's what it looks like like we saw at the beginning. Pretty nice, sweet. Subscribe so you'll be up to date with all of these ideas and videos. I want to answer and solve your YouTube problems and watch another video too. Thanks.